everyone for some more of my Tasmania Berlin career mode for FIFA 22. And we are going to be getting in here in the month of September. We are going to be simming this match against Mainz to begin with. And take a look at the calendar real quick. I'll be playing the games against um, Fenerbahce and... Um, uh, I'll be playing the games against Fenerbahce, Greater Fürth, and I was originally going to play the Leipzig game, but I think I am going to sim that one, and I'm going to play the Helsinki game instead, just because I want to try to get and see if I can clinch a spot at round of 16 of the Europa League as fast as I can, and... And I should let you know, in terms of the Europa League starting this season, there is no more round of 32. Once you get out of the group stage, you're automatically going to round of 16. And as far as the Conference League, I don't really know a whole lot about Conference League, which I'm not really all that concerned about uh, because we are not in that competition. Not only are we not in that competition, but I'm not, uh, I don't plan on being on that competition anytime soon. I want to get into the Champions League next season, but um, anyway, hope you guys have a good start to your day. Hope you guys have a good day, but um, but yeah, I am going to go ahead and sim this game against Mines. We've already got a look at their kits from last season, so there's no really no reason for me to do that. Put my strongest starting 11 up here. And we end up losing 2-1. to one. That's not ideal. Schneider opens up the scoring, but Angel and Masson end up scoring for Mainz. So not a good start to this video so far, unfortunately. As long as we finish in a European spot. I, I, my goal was to finish in the top... Uh, and the top six this year if I can. But anyway, we got some messages here. Cassidy has been sold. Two youth players have been, which I promoted them last video. Bertelsen has not really been enjoying his football. Herm has been dreaming about this. Same old stuff, different day. But anyway, we are going to sim forward here. I am going to put my backup team up for this. I am going to be playing this game against Fenerbahce. And you take a look at our group right there. We got Fenerbahce. We got Fenerik Varos from uh, Hungary. And then we have HJK Helsinki. And you can see that Yannick Schaefer has been sold to Leicester City. We get $28.5 million, so that will go towards our budget. Which, speaking of budget, let's look here real quick. We have $32.5 to play with. And I got to level with you guys right now. I'm going to be moving on to Annie Ceballos in the, the uh, January transfer window. I want to get someone that's at least 81 or 82 rated. And considering that Ceballos really, <coughs> excuse me, does not have any more room to grow, I'm thinking about moving him on because, quite frankly, I've about lost patience with him. So, yeah, and in January, Danny Ceballos would not be a member of this team. But um, let's take a look at Fenerbahce's team real quick. Not really the most exciting kits, admittedly. I've seen uh, better looking kits from Fenerbahce, but this is our first Europa League game. We are going to be playing at home in the Werner Sport Park, so I'm really looking forward to this. And I should correct myself, by the way. I mistakenly said that Tasmania and Berlin in their lone Bundesliga season only got six points. In actuality, they had eight points because they only had two wins and two draws for the whole season. That was back when wins, cost, when, when wins were awarded with two points instead of three points like they are today. You can say Cesar Montes is the featured player. Still kind of surprised. I mean, it's not really... I'm not really challenging for the title or anything, I, although I do want a European spot, but 
I am kind of disappointed we didn't beat Mainz in the Bundesliga, though. That I feel like that's a team that we should have beat. But anyway, it is what it is. We are going to be going into our first Europa League game here against Fenerbahce. Look how nice our stadium looks. You can see a crest up on the stands. I really wish there was a way you could uh, customize the crest more than what you can in this game. That's a little bit of a disappointment to me. But anyway, we are going to get into this game against Fenner. This is our toughest opponent in the group, so if we can beat these guys, I can feel really good about our prospects of making out of this group. Let's see, Omer. Omer's crossing is just so silky smooth. Oh my gosh. And who is that? I think that was... That's Oriano. But I like how Omer feels on the ball. I really do. He's got good pace. He's got good dribbling. His crossing is what I would expect from a winger. I'm very, very happy. Yes, I, admittedly, that's not one of the best crosses I've ever seen, but the point is, it did make find its way to Oriano, and Oriano is able to open up the scoring for us. Oh, bad turnover by Fenner there. Sandoval, can you capitalize on this? Yes, you can. I am trying to improve Sandoval's dribbling because, like I said, he does kind of feel a little bit like Tom, Tom Krause did on the ball, but this guy's got bucket loads of potential. I want to make sure that I give this guy plenty of game time. That way he can grow and keep his p p potential, and that dynamic potential will kick in for him. Yeah, Fabian Sandoval, or a new backup striker. Which I didn't even know it at the time until I looked at the... Um, ah, Burkhock, what kind of pass was that? I was intended for Sandoval. But yeah, I didn't even know it, but Ragnar Ake was our leading goal scorer in all competitions last year. What is going on with the passing? Just pass it! My team can't string two passes together right now, and Fenner's on the attack. And the game won't select the guys that I want. Wow, what the hell? Ohm was not in a good position. I'm just going to take it the whole way with Geiger. No, oh, what kind of... Cr what kind of cross was that guy? I mean, I shouldn't get upset with Geiger because he's not supposed to be crossing, but... Man, what was that? Why can't my guys complete a string of passes right now? Come on, guys. These are some straightforward passes, and you're not, not completing them. Burkhock, of all people, you are my MVP last season. You completed that one. But yeah, RK was our leading goal scorer last year. I didn't even realize until I looked at past footage and that, though. I still, feel, I still do feel kind of bad that I did move him on. He still had, did have room to grow, but... Considering he's tw he was 24 years old and Sandoval is only 17, and Sandoval was only two ratings under him, and it shows he's an exciting prospect. I I, I had to move on Ake okay, that way I could get Sandoval because uh, Fabian Sandoval could potentially oh bad turn and once again we can't dribble past anybody. But Sandoval could potentially be, be, be replacing Vallejo in the starting lineup here for this Tasmania squad, so... I really do have to start thinking about the future, and Sandoval, I believe, is going to be a big part of that. I'm going to go ahead and just send to the result here. We'll jump to the result. They do get a goal back through Zhao Pedro, the former Watford player. Foyt comes on for Nets, and Natal comes on for Bulls, so... Yeah, both our fullbacks came on. I'm surprised Schneider didn't get any game time. You see Federic Veros and Helsinki uh, got a 1-1 draw, so that definitely helps us. And you guys are probably wondering, well, Teddy, how come you're playing the game against Greater and not against Leipzig? Well, it is because of our...
um, objective here. We get a, we have to get a streak of three clean sheets in away matches this season, which... I thought it was just win three... Uh, I, th I thought it was to win three straight away matches. No, I have to get clean sheets. So, you know, I am going to sim this game against Guetra after all, and I am going to be playing the game against um, Leipzig. I do change my mind, so... I'm going to go ahead and sim this game against Greater. We are we are at 7 points. We are in the 5th position in the league. Now we drop to 6th. Now, if we drop points against Greater, I'm going to start to worry a little bit. Because I think this team is good enough to at least beat Greater, even on the road. Let's go ahead and quick sim this. And we do get the 2-0 no win. Ceballos and Wogel end up scoring for us. Burkhardt comes on for Geiger, Omer comes on for Schwartz, and Sandoval comes on for Vallejo. I was going to say, if we drop points there, I was not going to be very thrilled. But And as you can see, we are now in the third position. We are one point behind Hoffenheim and Freiburg. But um, we have now surpassed our point total than what we had in, in this club's uh, entire Bundesliga history when they only had eight goals to show for in their maiden Bundesliga season. You can see Dennis Schneider is our leading goal scorer in the competition with three. Jonathan David uh, playing for Hoffenheim. That's a, a good signing for them. Okay, Schaefer has been sold. I already sold, uh, showed you guys that. Tibor Simone, Norwich want him on a short-term loan. They can go ahead and have him. Hopefully he accepts that deal. But we are going to go forward here. We are going to play this game against RB Leipzig. Who are currently in 12th, which is kind of surprising. Bayern Munich uh, slowly creeping up the table. Of where we actually have more points than what... Bayern have right now, which is kind of surprising. You can see Belejo has now grown to an 82. Schneider has grown to an 85. As, uh, he is now tied with a tall, or Nets rather, but, but my highest rated uh, player on the team. Did anybody else grow? Doesn't look like it. Looks like, let's look at development plans here real quick. I may look... Next season to see if I can get a better... Which, he has no room to grow. Though. That's a bit of a problem. I, I was going to say that I was going to look for a um, better striker next season. Well, that's definitely... Especially if he's not going to be growing. That is definitely going to be something that I... Am going to look at next season. I won't be doing it this season just because I just don't have enough funds for it. But... Because I do want to prioritize a center mid position. Because Ceballos just is not going to grow. Hmm. Let's put him on this one. But I am going to put the backup team up here against... Um, RB Leipzig. And I will tell you right now, Leipzig's kits this season are nice. They are absolutely fantastic. Let me show you guys their kits. Especially their away kits. Oops. Come on, that's not what... No, that's not what I want to do. Come on. I want to show the, the, the kits. But yeah, look how sharp those away kits look. And you know what? I'm actually going to put the away kits on because they just look absolutely beautiful. No, come on! I want to change the kits! Come on! God! But anyway, take a look at their lineup. Andre Silva up front. Nicholas Pepe they got. Vera 2 is their cam and Cuckoo on the left. Adams and Fabian in center mid. The Nair. In the center, uh, center back, Bukile, Delo, Galaxy. This this team is no joke, so I think this is going to be a little bit of a challenge for us right now. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Excuse me. You see Montez is once again our featured player. But yeah, I think Vallejo is going to be good enough of a striker for us to do this season. But then at the beginning of next year, I do want to upgrade on that striker position for sure. I want to get at least an 84 and an 85 rated striker if I can. And I already know, which I'm going to leave it as a, as a surprise for y'all, but I already have an idea who I want to replace Danny Ceballos with. And I hope it's a player that I can get. And it's a player that I'm very excited about playing with should I get the deal done for him. But like I said, I won't tell you guys who it is now. As we kick things off here at the Verona Sport Park. See Omar. Nobody's moving forward. But Omar takes it to the house. Abdulkader Omur. I tell you what, he may be three overall lower than Yannick Schaefer was, but my God, he feels so good on the ball. He really... And to be fair, though, so does Oriano. Burkhock with the steal there. Oriano feels really good, too. Burkhock, not a good cutback there. But that doesn't matter. There's a quick fire double for Tasmania Berlin here against RB Leipzig. The reigning runners up, if you want to call them that. I mean, what else would you call them, really? Because they did finish second last year to Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich, of course, ran away with the title last year like they usually do. I mean, if I bought all the best players in the league, I should be able to win it, too. And I'm going to try to avoid that in this career mode. I don't want to turn into Bayern 2.0. Because I do want to get ta talents from other teams. Oh, that was not questionable cross there by Omer, but... Who was that? There's Burkhock again. How did he score from there, and how is he so good? I'm not going to complain, but this guy is, like, super good. But yeah, I'm going to try if I can, it, whenever I do my upgrades for this team, especially next season. I, oh, nice steal by Sandoval there. Yeah, I'm going to try to avoid... Oh, I thought that was a surefire goal. That was a good save by Galaxy. Sandoval arguably could have done better there. And that's got to be a goal kick, I think. You can see our position on the table right now. We are currently third. We have a seven go uh, goal differential, which is actually pretty good. Okay, Sandoval. Let's try it again, buddy. There we go. But yeah, I just feel that if I buy the best players from rival teams, it just it's not gonna make it very fun. So I'm just gonna try to keep where I don't turn into another Bayern Munich. I mean, you could argue that the people that Bayern are trying to get, you, they could easily say no, but I don't know, but you can see Veritu gets a goal back in the 43rd minute for them, but um, we didn't make any substitutions, which is kind of weird. I guess that's good in a way, because I'm going to be putting my starting lineup here against um, Helsinki. And I am going to play this game. I'm not going to... You see, I'm ready to install the latest update, which I can't because I'm currently playing it. Dominic Calvert-Lewin going to Hertha. You see Tarkowski in there, too. Two players that I had in my Newcastle United career mode. That's interesting. Okay, Simone has been loaned out, so he will be going to Norwich at the, in January. Which is good because he still has potential. I don't want that being wasted because he wants to sit on the bench.
But yeah, I will be playing my st my strongest starting lineup here against um, Helsinki, which I'm kind of surprised that Schwartz hasn't gone to 80 yet. But anyway, let's look, let's take a look at Helsinki's kits. I will be playing with my away kits on this one. Kits don't look too bad. But anyway, we're going to get into this. We're at Court Lane. I don't know what the stadium is called in real life. I don't follow the Finnish League, unfortunately. I do apologize about that. You see Dennis Schneider is a featured player there. 85 rated Dennis Schneider, a, a joint highest rated player alongside Luca Nets. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I liked the away kits last season, but those away kits that I have this season look super nice in my opinion. They really do. I'm not sure if you guys will agree with that, but I like those kits. And we are underway here in Finland. Is anybody going to make a run? Schwartz, somebody. Schwartz, can you get the, uh, open up the scoring here? Yes, you can. May the Schwartz be with you. Oh, I like this celebration. Marco Schwartz getting his first goal in the Europa League. Ran past him. It's Dennis Schneider with the intercept there. Dennis Schneider, can you get your first European goal? Yes, you can. Silky smooth finish. Made a little bit hard on himself there, but a guy of Dennis Schneider's caliber will easily put those goals uh, opportunities away. It's like I'm playing, it looks like a game, it looks like I, it's a game of uh, Schneider again with the, the intercept. Looks like I'm playing a game right now between West Brom and Huddersfield, or Brighton. And you know what, I think I've done enough to get a result here, hopefully. I'm just going to go ahead and jump to the result. And they do get a goal back through Brown, but uh, Bull comes on for Atal and Burkhart comes on for Ceballo. So, one thing I am noticing right now is that we are not keeping clean sheets. We are not. We are conceding at least one goal. Fenerbahce beat Federico's, which really isn't that big of a surprise considering they are arguably the best t uh, team in the group. But you can look, look, let's take a look at this league table here real quick. Before we sim ahead here, we will be playing the, the, this game against Leverkusen at the beginning of the next episode. But let's take a look at this table. We're, we're only six games in, but let's take a look at this table. We are currently on top. We have the best goal difference so far. We're tied with Wolfsburg on points. Freiburg and Borussia Dortmund are, have 12 points. Hoffenheim and Mainz have 11. Leverkusen and Frankfurt have 10. Bayern and uh, Cone have 9. I think I just said that. Hertha Union, our, our big brothers, are 11th and 12th, respectively. Leipzig down the table, which is kind of surprising. Multi glad back, considering how poorly they've been, they've been playing lately. That's not really much of a surprise, them being down there. And, of course, you can see Greater Furitz and Augsburg is in the bottom. Of course, Augsburg, we ha they have um, Tom Krauser, a striker on loan right now, so... Apparently, he's not getting the job done for them. But you can see Burkhock having four goals. He's two behind Jonathan David for the league lead and goals. But anyway, we are going to stop here. Like I said, we will be beginning the next episode by playing this game against uh, Bayer Leverkusen.
And in the next episode, I do kind of want to play... A, oh, I see this game against um, Herta that I definitely will be playing. So, I'm probably going to be... I'm probably going to be playing the games against Leverkusen, Frank Veros. Actually, I might sim this game against Frank Veros, to be fair. I'm going to play these games against uh, Leverkusen, Hertha, and I do want to play this away game against Bauckham. And I'll sim the, sim the games against Frank Veros, Stuttgart, and Hamburg. So, that is what's going to be on deck for the next episode. Hope you guys are looking forward to that. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. And I'll be seeing you guys again next time.